Bluffbeard? Chase McCain! Ah, it's been a long time. I saw you this morning. Ah, it's been six hours. What are you doing here? I decided on a change of career. I'm now captain of the ferry which takes rum coves and no good ne'er-do-wells over to Albatross Prison. Great, the ferry. Where is it? I sunk it. I don't suppose you could build a new one for me, could you? Hey, Ellie, do we have any super bricks out the back of the police station? I need to rebuild the ferry. Has Frank been driving it again? Surprisingly, no. Huh. Okay. Let me just update your scanning software again. Right. You should be able to use your communicator as a data scanner now. It'll show up any super bricks nearby. After I hang up, just tap the data scanner button on your communicator and follow the instructions. Thanks, Ellie. Yeah. I can't help but feel I should be a pirate. I've got a voice after all. Oh, wait. I'm allergic to parrot feathers, aren't I? I reckon I'll be stuck in port for quite some time. Uh, maybe I should take in an opera. Huh? 
I think I'm gonna start wearing an eye patch. Can't be taken seriously as a captain in the Saved my hide, and no mistake. Hop on board, and we'll set sail for Albatross Prison. Uh, okay. You never know, we might even make it there. Nice to see they take security so seriously. I guess I'll just let myself in and then track down Blue. in a sports car earlier. Huh? 
Those coastal roads have always been dangerous. Policeman, you belong in the law court, not our basketball court. Hey, nice work, man. You be using the language real good. I sure am, too. If that's a basketball court, where's your basketball? A bunch of real mean bullies took it off us. They are not nice. If I get it back for you, will you let me in? We'll see. I ain't promising nothing. Oh, man, that's a double negative. You have let me down. I should get them a card. I need a vacation. Again, this is an injustice. Uh, that's my day ruined. Oh, this ain't fair. Hi 
Hey, are you blue? Mm. I've had better days, Sonny. I'm Chase. <clears throat> I heard you might know about Rex Fury. Rex Fury? That man owes me. For helping him escape? Why would I do that? Rex was my biggest customer until he disappeared, owing me for a hot tub. You know how difficult it is to smuggle one of them in? <clears throat> Speaking of which... Careful with Haywood's new car, hmm? Sure, Blue! So how did Rex escape? Well, that's the question on everyone's lips. Except no one's allowed in his cell to find out. Not even the police. That's not right. But we both want to see Rex back in here. So I've got an idea. Get some gear from the cupboard in my cell. Then I'll call you with more information on this. That's a croissant. We aren't allowed phones in here. The phone's inside it. Put your number in. Go! Oh. <laughs> there. I hope this plan of yours works, Blue. Uh... Are you free, man? No. No, I am not Freeman. His lawyers might be watching. What's the matter, Haywood? You don't like your new car? Car? <laughs> oh... <laughs> gotta sleep, man. So, is there any way I can help you, officer? Yeah. I need to check a prisoner's cell for something. He's called Blue? <laughs> Blue? He's been here almost as long as me. Always sees I get some of that cake his mom bakes him. It kind of tastes funny. There you go. I'm off for a nap. Need to stay alert. That's why I have at least four a day. Should have stayed in school. You get in there? Yeah. Okay. I gotta be quick. There are guards near me. 
Now, once you've got the equipment, you need to get into the warden's office. What? It's the only way to Rex's cell. Wait. Shh. Yep, that's Blue. He's the one that talks to pastries. Cuckoo. Okay, now go. The door's at the right side of the third story, and you better hope the warden's not in there. I'm gonna get you back for this, policeman. You can't keep me in here! Not on a sunny day! It's a good thing these bars are between you and me! Ah, oh, come on! I'm gonna miss my stories on the TV! You can't keep me in here forever! Ah, at least it's better than solitary! Let me out of here! I'm innocent! Come on, give a guy a second chance! My lawyer will hear about this! I ain't a bad person, really. Come on, I'll prove it! Just let me out of here a second. Chase, this is really important. What is it? So, do you think Ellie likes me or not? Frank! I'm at the prison, remember? Trying to find out how Rex escaped. Oh, sorry. But yeah, I, I think she does. Sweet! Chase, you in? Yeah. The warden just went through a door on the other side of his office. Hmm. That's his private bathroom. Block the door. The warden has a hidden elevator to Rex's cell block in his office, but he's not going to let you snoop around for it. Gotcha. Ha! He won't get out of there in a hurry. Hello? Is someone out there? 
No, I told you. I haven't let anyone look in there. Not even that fool Dunby. I don't want you back here either. No, of course I didn't call you from a toilet. Gotta go. Who is that? What are you doing? Are you looking in my safe? Don't touch my records. They're alphabetized. You better not be messing with my records. Especially not the opera ones. If you're looking through my safe, then ignore those pictures. That's my twin sister in the wedding dress, not me. What's happening out there? no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. I also don't know why those guys are dancing together. And how did he get that saucepan on his head? Hmm. There is a lot I don't know. Let me out! Let me out! Somebody open this door! Ah, the old secret entrance behind a painting. What a classic. This must be Rex's cell. Hey guys, does Rex know you're using his hot tub? You are gonna get trounced! I'm just... Uh -oh. A jukebox in a jail cell? I guess that means it's full of... So, did you manage to get into the warden's private elevator? Yeah. Wow, Rex's cell is nicer than my apartment. Mostly down to me, after the warden made sure he got the biggest room in the prison. Hmm. What would you expect to find in there, anyhow? I figure he was probably in a hurry when he busted out of here. So he might have left some evidence behind. Good luck catching Rex, Chase. And when you get him, tell him Blue says hi. That's interesting. A hidden button. Punch bag and weightlifting equipment? Oh, great. Because the last thing we want is criminals who are weak and easy to arrest. That's right. It's not just police beats that I'm good at. Whoa, I'm glad I wasn't sat on that.
Aha, another hidden button. There's the last button. Ah, the old secret entrance behind a painting. What a... Hang on, didn't I say this already? Whoa! Ah! McCain! Warden Stonewall called me. I won't tell you what he called me, but it wasn't nice. It was a nincompoop. It looks like Rex used this hammer to dig his way out of prison. It came from the Bluebell Mine. Give me that! If there's any deducting to do, I'll do it! Whoa. Hmm... Interesting. It's a hammer. And... where's it from? There's no way to tell. But the Bluebell Mine seems as good a place to start as any. You see, the... There was a theft there a few months ago. I'll get over there right away, Chief. Not so fast, McCain. Sheriff Huckleberry can look into it. Stay away from the mine. That's an order. Hey, Chief, can I get a shot for the Herald? Uh, you sure he didn't use this? Watch the birdie. Chase. Hi, Ellie. What do you need? Have you seen Frank around? He's doing a favor for me. Sorry, I'm not heard from him. Uh, well, I've got you. Do you know anything about a theft at Bluebell Mine? Sure do. Uncle Duke took me along with him. Some thugs took a load of equipment. Dumby took us off the case before we could interview the witness, though. Said he sounded like a crank. There was a witness? Yeah. Kooky old guy. Hang on. Clarence Fletcher. Says here his friends call him Stinky. Nice. Thanks, Ellie. Sounds like Stinky might know who Rex's guys are on the outside. Oh, and I'll keep an eye out for Frank. And try taking the train from Cherry Tree Hill Station. You'll get to the mine a lot faster. Why? 